Now, I believe America is ready for change. And I believe that uh, change is just a word if you don't have the strength and experience to make it happen. And I hope that you will give me the opportunity to lead that change. Uh, I think the best days of America lie ahead if we not only have new leadership that is confident, optimistic, and effective, getting results here at home and around the world, but if we have people of all ages in America committed once again to seizing the opportunities that are available for those who work hard and are responsible and themselves are taking on the future with confidence and optimism as well. Thank you all very much. stories um, that really fit into what uh, I've been talking about. Uh, and I think it's important that we get these stories out before us because I hope that will trigger some of your own stories when we go to um, the question time. Um, our first guests are Kim and Ashley Beauregard. Kim is Ashley's mother and Ashley is a high school junior. Uh, she is a junior at Laconia High School and is the junior class president. Congratulations. She, uh, she has worked hard. She's been a successful student. Uh, she is very interested in uh, going to college. She has three brothers. Um, one is in the military. Uh, one went to a tech school for mechanics. One is a painter. Uh, but she is really motivated and desirous of going to college. And the Beauregards are concerned about how they will afford college for Ashley. So, Ashley and Kim, thank you for joining us today. Well, you know, 
Kim as a mom myself, you know, really touched me. And Kim said that um, you know, not only would they take out a home equity loan so that Ashley could go to college, but they would sell their house if it were necessary because she's their youngest and she's always dreamed of this. And uh, like most mothers, uh, Kim wants to do whatever it takes to help Ashley live up to her dreams. I just don't think that a hardworking family like yours should be put in that position. And that's what we're going to do. Thank you. 